Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining us on Midday. Maria is here. Twice in a week. Yeah, I like that. So Can we make this a habit? I hope y'all are getting tired of me. I'm, I'm good with that. No, we're going to make this a habit. Yeah. I'm good. I we like it here. Well, we talked about, we, we dropped a few very important bombs <laughs> Yes. Monday. So if you weren't tuned in, you missed out. Some big news was dropped. And it's, it's off the story, but we are starting <laughs> a band. Are you surprised? We are need fans. We so need if you have extra fans. <laughs> Just so we, everybody can have that. Oh, look. like those kind of fans. Yeah, we need those. Oh kind of well. Fans. So we also need. I don't you think we'll ever have fans, fans that actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, your your our wind or the hair has to blow in the wind. Yeah, as we, the as rest of it, I think, is just asking too much. We have lots of reasoning. Um, the science. We had a busy weekend. It's, it's I can't believe it's Thursday already. It's a fast week, but yeah. it's a good thing because it's almost Friday and we've got fun stuff here today. So it's so a good much day. fun stuff here today. Now we laugh about it all the time. I'm not the best person in the kitchen. Yeah, okay. So I like to celebrate every single day where there's food. <laughs> and one of my very favorite, and one of the only things I can cook but nowhere near what we're going to have is macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah. We're and I've always heard about Carson's being amazing. I have had it, and it's oh. amazing. We, we have an experienced person Yes, one of my favorite restaurants. To lead the novice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. It is a great restaurant. I've just never had the mac and cheese. So, it's great. hello, this is going to start a new habit. <laughs> All right, let's go right into topics today okay. because this is something you fly all the time. I do. I used to live on airplanes just about. Sure. You see pretty much everything. You do. You meet lots of interesting people. You do, um, unless you put your earphones on and like cover your face. I've tried that. It doesn't always work. I used to, I put them on even if nothing's in. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. It's or pretend to be sleeping. Yes. But so, sometimes that doesn't work. Well, and sometimes you, you're right. I have, you know what? When they're all real aggressive. Topic. We talked about how people come into your life that like True. at the right time that need to tell you a message. I believe that. Those messages used to come on airplanes. Yeah. So if that's the case, I need to like start flying again because yeah. you need some messages. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. This one is not a message okay. though. A doctor claims she was kicked off of a plane because of the romper she was wearing. Now a flight attendant allegedly pulled her aside and asked her if she had a jacket to cover up. She said no, so the attendant would not let her or her son board the plane until she had something. The doctor asked for something, and they gave her a blanket. She also claims people were dressed in a similar fashion. And let me just say this. I don't know if this makes a difference, but this was in Miami. That makes a difference. That's a lot of clothes for Miami. It is. And, you know, beach wear is completely accepted there. So yeah. It's a different ball game. That's, um, I mean, like we both live there. That's um, not that's correct. not out of uh <laughs> nope. That's not out of the ordinary. So I hate that. I mean it sounds like she's actually a doctor, right? Not that that makes a difference yeah, either. No, she's but a I feel like she probably knows the difference of what's right and wrong and regardless well, if I would choose to wear that or not, it's not anything worthy of getting kicked off. An no, airport. not at all. And I think a lot of people agreed and I, she's apparently her son was kind of Oh, that came right on cue. Look, he looks so sad because mm -hmm. here he's like shamed because his mom's wearing a romper. And it wasn't, I've, I have seen way, way worse. Yes. yes. Like way worse. Like on the daily. Way worse. And you don't get kicked out of places. So. Let us know what you think. That story's yeah. on our Facebook page. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I mean. Again, Jamaica to Miami. Yeah, please. To, and that's, uh, keep uh, that in mind. That's what she said. How would you dress from Kingston to Miami? It's hot. Yeah. It's, uh, that, that's just not even, ah. Uh, Do we know the airline? Sorry. No. no. Okay. No, they didn't. That's actually a good point because that's happened before and then the airline Correct. gets yeah. bombarded. Just wondering. All right. Here's <laughs> another kind of no-no, I guess. If you've ever looked for a place to stay, it's pretty stressful because, especially if you just move somewhere and you don't know anything right. about the area, anything about anything. Well, if you are looking, you may want to look somewhere other than here. While searching a site, they found a room for rent. I guess this was a couple for about $50 per week. It's a oh. pretty little home in New Zealand. So I guess okay. <laughs> just heads up if you're moving to New Zealand, please bring us with you. <laughs> However, upon closer inspection, they realized it was just a bed, but the bed was inside a laundry room. Oh. Okay, so the advertiser okay. claimed that they're only going to use the washing machine on Saturday morning. Because <laughs> that changes everything. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, and, and they were very, very upset because I don't think they thought that it was um, put out there that that's what Clear, it was. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. What do you think of this? Um, okay, $50 a week, number one. Which is cheap. suspicious. Yes, something is funky. Um, number two, 
where are the photos? You know, I search for photos like crazy whenever I'm booking a generic, regular hotel, oh, much yeah. less a bed in someone else's house. So, um, but it definitely should have been. Well, and I guess oh. those are the pictures, but I, that doesn't look like a washing machine to me. Well, I guess not. And you know, I guess they could have assumed. How domestic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kidding. guess they could have assumed that the washing machine was part of their. You know, they're a little sweet. Right, that, that, that's I call true. that a sweet. That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the laundry room is now a yeah. sweet. Yeah, so maybe they just assumed it wasn't part of the house. Well, um, they reported it to the site, and this, they did get in trouble from the site. So yeah. the fact that the site actually turned around, because a lot of times Airbnb will maybe err on the side of the person who's renting the room. Uh, yes. And I kind agree. of go on their side. But this site made them take things down and switch it around and make it very, very clear that they are renting a room inside a laundry room. Okay, so they went with the side of the person renting. Yeah. Like that statement. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. That's just weird. Yeah. All right, let us know what you think on that. All right, hiking. I love hiking. Yeah, we were just talking hobbies. about this. We were. Well, you feel refreshed after a hike. You probably enjoy the great outdoors. Not everybody I know. But believe it or not, being out there, it can be called wilderness therapy. And studies back this claim saying spending time in nature is really, really good for you. So therapists are now even using it as a type of prescription to give oh. their clients instead of like drugs or yeah. you know, other things. I what love do you think? That. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Um, I love any kind of natural remedy. I'm just a little bit of a nerd like that. And so and I think that I've witnessed the stress relief that that can be. Oh, so absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Now, to actually, like, I don't know who's prescribing it for what, but, hey, it's worth a shot. The worst that's going to happen is they get a good walk. No, I believe this 100%. And personally, on a personal note, um, I was going through some crazy life stuff. <laughs> so I made some crazy life decisions at one point mm -hmm. and moved out to Colorado for this sole purpose knowing that I would active. be surrounded by the backyard. And yeah. so like I could walk outside and go on these ridiculous hikes yeah. and it looks like you're on like the moon and, and I would do it. I did it every awesome. weekend. I did it before work. I was working the night shift. So I would hike in the morning. Did you feel less stressed? Oh my, well, I just, I, I worked out a lot of stuff because one, it's yeah. scary. Yeah. So you, you, a lot of times it helps you, I think, build your confidence back up because you're doing things that you may not think you can do. I was a wimp, because Colorado <laughs> hiking is no joke, first of you all. You need Especially bear spray. For, well, you do need bear spray. <laughs> Maria knows all about bear, all spray. about bear spray. You need to know to sing opera if there's mountain lions. These are Apparently. things you would never know unless you lived in Colorado. Um, yeah, it, it just, <laughs> it, was, it was very, very transforming, and I miss it now. Yeah. So we actually talked about going down, <laughs> we need therapy, <laughs> going down to the gorge pretty soon, which yeah. neither one of us have been to. I would love that. Um, I just wish we had those options here, which is silly, because it's colder there. We should, you know, we kind of do have those options here, we just don't use them. Yeah, it's, um, it, it was probably one of the best things I ever I did for myself yeah. in life, and it's very hard to do things for yourself. It was very, very difficult, and it was mm -hmm. very, very uh, taxing for a yeah. few years, but it was, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You got to know yourself. I think that's the most well, I don't. Thing. That's maybe the most scary thing. I don't know <laughs> about that. <laughs> Let us know what you think, and if you have any um, hikes that you would suggest, because I know there are places around there here, Raven Run, and yeah. that kind of stuff. But anywhere, we'll drive. So let us know if you have a favorite place to go hike.